Welcome back, family and friends, to another episode of Independent Joe, and it's Taco Tuesday. Um, I think we might be having some tacos today, so uh, that'll be pretty cool. Um, at least I'm hoping that's on the menu. Or was it something else? It might be something else. I don't know. I'll figure that out later. I probably won't let you know, but that's okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, coming at you with uh, Angel's Envy. This is a store pick from my local liquor store. One of my favorite ones over there at El Cerrito Liquors. Uh, no, I'm not a paid sponsor or anything. Or Yeah, I'm not paid uh, by a sponsor. But uh, no, really good store. Really good people that work there. Really awesome really personable their prices ain't bad and I got this for about what you would get uh, probably a little less than uh, what like total wine or mission are is charging on their bottles and no offense to them it's still around the same price point it ain't like a crazy drastic price point drop but there's still a higher price point when it comes to private selections you also got their their normal selections all of them except for the rye because this is finished in um what is it caribbean rum casks uh all of them are finished in uh, uh, uh port wine barrels so and they're uh all aged prior to that in a virgin oak and in kentucky is where they are get, uh, sourcing this whiskey of course we don't know uh what's in the bottle because they're just a bottling company you know, Angels Envy, a, a bottling company, and um, that's the way that works. When they're a bottling company, they just don't, uh, dis they don't, I guess, disclose what's inside the bottle, maybe because of some agreement that they uh, signed to. But I would think that those other, uh, the distilleries would like people to know, hey, when you're drinking Angels Envy, guess what you're drinking? Drinking our stuff. But I guess they don't, uh, some uh, distilleries don't want that. Uh, these are non H stated. Um, uh, you know what? I, I think I saw the mash bill on these. It was like 72% corn. And then uh, that's that's all I remember. Sorry about that. But no worries. It's not that big of a deal because it is what it is. But uh, this one right here is at 55 uh, ABV, which gives you around 110 proof. This private selection also, uh, which was two years ago, I didn't buy one last year. I was always looking at them. I'm like, well, you know, I didn't go back to it much. Uh, this year I decided to because again, when you uh, know the store that's actually putting it out there, you know their palate, you, met, you have those type of relationships, you know that you probably should get their pick because it's gonna be pretty good. And so this is, this is me hoping right now, it, at, from the looks of it, it is darker uh, than the uh, one I bought before. Uh, this one is from uh, Mission. Uh, it's it's good, but I just haven't really gone back to it much because it, it it's okay. It's in it's an okay whiskey. Uh, same with this one. I mean, I've I've drank this one a little bit more. Uh, the these come in I think at 86.6 proof. The regular version, and again, you know. It, it's an okay sipper, but I, I'm not um, inclined to keep going back to it. It is one of my first uh, bottles that I bought uh, in my whiskey journey starting like over two years ago now. Uh, the Caribbean rye, I didn't buy one last year for last year. I know a couple of store picks for the rye came out, but I, I, I went ahead and passed on it for last year. So rye will not be in, in this Friday's uh, live. I'm going at around 8 p.m. my time, which is specific, about 11, for, uh, late night for you guys out there on the East Coast. <clears throat> Understandable. Please catch the replay. It's going to be uh, pretty fun. Uh, myself and the little lady, we're going we're gonna to taste, taste some of the ones. Maybe, maybe I might even give, her, give it to her as a blind because I'm going to know what they are. I already know what my top five are. Um, well, kind of. I'm still going through them. They're right here, by the way. So I, I still got to go through them and then and then taste those and um, see if see if uh, how she what she thinks of those rice. And she's not she's she actually kind of likes rice, so that'll be fun. Um, I do, and I also have I noticed uh, when I was moving all my junk up here, um, junk by I mean whiskey. Um, 
I noticed that I had a bottle of the 2020 uh, limited edition that I had bought in 2020 and I still haven't opened it. Oh man, and that is, it looks really nice. It's really, really dark. It's darker than all of them put together, I think. And man, um, I don't know why I haven't uh, opened it, tried it, not saving it for posterity or anything, but uh, who knows, maybe I'll maybe take it to a, a sharing or something like that and share with everybody else and find out what it tastes like. Or I'll do a video on it sometime uh, this year. 2023 is here, 2023 bottle. I'm getting all tongue tied with that 2023. But uh, yeah, it's a 2023 bottle. It's my first one of the year. I do have another 2023 bottle coming, but that's uh, for some reason I it, it's not here yet. It's been a while um, uh, since I since I ordered it, but it'll get here when it gets here. Um, either way, um, I, and then I'll do that video. But uh, uh, if you don't remember, on Saturday I did my top five or top ten whiskeys with the help of. A good friend of uh, every whiskey channel, uh, Toshi Baker, and I did say his top ten wrong, so I'm gonna I wanna I wanna clear that up because his top ten was different, and not too much different. He had actually at number one, I'll go ten to ten to one. Number ten was the Russell's Reserve thirteen year. Uh, number nine was the Frey Ranch pick. Number eight was the Middle West uh, wheat whiskey. Number seven was the Heaven Hill Seven Year, and I, I that's I think that's the one that got mixed up. It was um, I said that number nine was Heaven Hill, but I was looking at the wrong page when I marked that down. So sorry about that, uh, Toshi. And he had a uh, Weller Foolproof at number six, um, Hardin's Creek at number five, Jacob's Well, uh, JD Twice Barreled at number four. And uh, Joseph Mag, oh, okay, well, that's number one, but then he had the Hirsch at number three, Stag at number two, and then Joseph Magnus at number one. And um, I had a whole different one. Go back and watch it and check it out, but that was pretty cool. Now back to uh, the bottles at hand. I'm gonna go ahead and go in on the nose on this. Appreciate everybody who has supported the channel. Appreciate all the patrons. Um, I've sent you the already the picture of uh, the thumbnail. Uh, I'm gonna post that tomorrow. Um, for the thumbnail for Friday today. I'll be posting this uh, video. So tomorrow I'll post a thumbnail for Friday's uh, I guess stream and uh, check it out. Come and hang out. Uh, we're gonna I'm gonna go over we're gonna go over the top five uh, rye whiskeys of the year. I wasn't gonna do it live. I had said I wasn't gonna do it live. But um, things change, so there we go. Plus, I'm, I'm not gonna be here on Saturday, so I'm not gonna do a Saturday stream or anything. Uh, check that out. It's actually pretty pretty nice. Uh, nice coating to the glass right there. Really nice. I, I can smell the aroma without putting my nose over the glass. <sighs> really deep, rich in flavor. <sighs> Getting a cherry off this one. Um, I don't normally get cherry off of uh, Angel's Envy, but this one has a nice sweet cherry and I don't think it's like that, that cough syrupy type uh, uh, cherry. Getting some vanillas, a little bit of caramel, light oak, really light oak. Overall, very nice aroma. Uh, gonna just have to taste it to figure out what it tastes like, right? Appreciate you all. Love you all. Thank you for your support. And here's to 2023. My first uh, review of a 2023 bottle. I know I did other reviews earlier, but this is my first 2023 bottle review. Appreciate you all. Thank you for your support. Cheers. Wow. That is crazy good. Getting a lot of fruit. Um, I was getting cherries on the nose, but right now I'm getting like some nice sweet plum. Yeah, a raisin, but more plummy than raisin, but it's kind of in between there. Just really sweet, really balanced on the on the palate, really like as far as coating wise. 
That is really, really good. Better than I remember on this one. Um, really nice and dark too. Um, I think I showed you the thing, got the embossed angel wings on the back. You can see the, uh, the color on that is just crazy dark. You know, and uh, that's the front. Sorry about the ring light there. Comes with these uh, crazy angel wings on the front. Uh, I'm gonna put it on as a necklace, I think. I don't know. This one is really good though. The flavor is lasting uh, pretty dang long. A lot of sweetness, a lot of uh, caramel. Um, that Again, that sweet plum. Slight raisin, between raisin and plum. It's just, it's just so nice. Crazy nice. Wow. Definitely gonna have to make sure I, cause I, the year before I really didn't go too far back. I did do a sip it and I'm like, okay. You know, when I did my top 50 of, of 2021, thank God I didn't do that again, right? But this one is really, really good. A lot of brown sugar on it. Wow. Wow, man. Okay. <laughs> um, really good. Really good. Really happy I got it. I was, I, you know, I was skeptical because, again, I have this one. And I think when I got this one, I was like, yeah, what is another 10 proof higher? Because this is at 120. Now I'm really going to have to go and, and see what this one's all about. So when I do that, I will do it as a video. Maybe I'll do it as a Patreon live first and then um, then put it out there in the world. So, But uh, this is really, really good. If you are in the local area for um, El Cerritos, make sure you check it out. Um, all I can say is uh, you won't be disappointed. And if you are, um, then maybe you don't know whiskey. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, so this is going to be fun. This is, this is going to be a fun year. Uh, as you all know, I'll probably be, uh, well, I won't probably be, I'll be in the qualifier rounds against those weirdos, whoever they are. I don't even know who I'm going up against, but um, make sure you tune into Mad Madness this year. Your boy's going to be in there hanging out, tasting whiskey. Uh, hopefully we'll have some fun, have some laughs, have some whiskey. And I know we're going to have whiskey, but you know. And the fun part is if I win, right? I, I don't know how that works, but uh, I think just being able to be a part of that and um, is going to be fun. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun regardless. Win, lose, or draw, right? I'm telling you, you need to, you need to uh, go ahead and uh, take a look at this bottle. Well, uh, before I prolong this and, and blabber on, Appreciate everybody. Thank you for uh, your support. Thank you for hanging out with me uh, last year. Thank you for everybody who subscribed. And now we're we you know getting way over a thousand. We're 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 building. We're building. Um, all love. All love in the community. And um, thinking of changing up the channel a little bit. Maybe maybe doing more of a something different. Uh, still whiskey centric, but. Um, just, just a little more talk on, you know, different stuff. Maybe uh, crazy stuff. We got Freaky Friday coming up. I was thinking of um, after we taste some of the whiskeys that we do something different. So tune in, check it out, hang out with us, and uh, enjoy some whiskeys. And we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about different things uh, since it's gonna be a well. When you, I said Freaky Friday, but um, you'll see when you see the uh, thumbnail, you'll understand why. Uh, it's actually Freaky Friday. So thank you. Appreciate you, love you, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a good morning, afternoon, good night, whatever time you're watching this, and uh, see you on the next one. Cheers.